Recently, Kiev claimed that Russia had used an intercontinental ballistic missile, along with a barrage of other missiles at Dnipro. It marked the first time a hypersonic weapon has been used in a conflict. The missile had six warheads, each carrying six submunitions. The peak speed the missile reached was 11 Mach. Ukraine's main intelligence directorate said it was fired from the fourth missile test range, Kapustin Yar, in Russia's Astrakhan region, and flew 15 minutes before striking Dnipro. Hypersonic weaponry represents the most significant advancement in missile technology since intercontinental ballistic missiles. These are the four most dangerous missiles in the world. Hypersonics lead the way, but several conventional weapons still keep generals up at night. KN-22 Hwasong-15 While Russia and China push ahead with hypersonics and other advanced concepts, conventional weapons still pose the most immediate threat. North Korea has been steadily developing its ballistic missiles with the range needed to attack the U.S. The Hwasong-15, Mars-15, transported on a mobile 18-wheel launcher, is North Korea's most powerful weapon. Analysis of a test firing in 2017 suggested that it can hit targets more than 6,000 miles away, putting mainland America within North Korea's range for the first time. This is a larger version of the Hwasong-12 that North Korea test-fired over Japan this past October. The missiles, although generations behind what the US, China, and Russia possess, are now capable of delivering a nuclear warhead to almost any spot on the globe. LGM-30 Minuteman 3 The US Minuteman 3 tops the list of the most fearsome ballistic missiles. For 50 years, it has been the mainstay of the U.S. land-based nuclear arsenal and an important deterrent against nuclear attack. A stockpile of 400 missiles waits in hardened concrete silos in remote areas of Colorado, Montana, Nebraska, North Dakota, and Wyoming, with launch crews on alert around the clock, ready to retaliate against any nuclear attack. With a range of more than 6,000 miles, traveling at speeds above Mach 23, the Minuteman can strike virtually any place on the globe, reportedly within 400 feet of the target. The first Minuteman missiles, introduced in the 1970s, carried multiple warheads. But since 2001, following international nuclear treaties, a Minuteman now typically only carries a single 350 or 475 kiloton warhead. That's smaller than the nukes arming Russia's intercontinental missiles, but still 20 to 40 times more powerful than the Hiroshima bomb. The US claims that the weapon's accuracy means it doesn't require such a large nuclear payload. A replacement for the Minuteman, called the LGM-35A Sentinel, should go into service by 2029. While the Minuteman's capabilities remain relevant, its aging equipment and infrastructure make it difficult to maintain, even finding spare parts has become challenging. The new weapon, built by Lockheed Martin, will be easier to maintain and upgrade with emerging technologies, including hypersonic re-entry vehicles. Dongfeng 17 Like Russia, China is ambitiously developing hypersonic weapons. One of the most significant is the DF-ZF hypersonic glide missile, which is carried by the country's DF-17 aircraft carrier killer rocket. While U.S. carrier groups have defenses that can shoot down traditional missiles, this combo would be far more challenging. Unlike most ballistic missiles, the DF-17 has a flat trajectory. It cruises at relatively low altitudes below 60,000 feet or so, making it difficult to detect at long range. The DF-ZF would then detach and glide toward the target at speeds above Mach 5. China based the DF-17 on its existing DF-16B short-range ballistic missile and unveiled the new weapon in 2019 when it was seen being transported by a 10-wheeled launch vehicle. 
China claims the missile is already in service. That should worry opposing naval fleets. The speed and mass of the weapon make it more destructive than existing anti-ship missiles. The DF-17 is about 20 times the size of America, most common anti-ship missile, the 12-foot-long harpoon. And the kinetic impact alone of one striking a ship at a mile per second would likely inflict catastrophic damage. KH-47 M2 Kinjal Russia broke through the hypersonic missile barrier first, launching the Kinjal Dagger from a MiG-31 fighter jet earlier this year. The Kinjal is a modified version of the country's Iskander, a ground-launched ballistic missile, but it has new aerodynamics and guidance systems that give it greater maneuverability. An advanced tail section and rudders allow the Kinjal to evade air defenses, including the U.S. Patriot surface-to-air missile. Kinjal can carry either a conventional warhead with 1,100 pounds of explosive or a nuclear device of up to 500 kilotons. And Russia seems intent on showing off the weapon's capabilities. This year, Russia has fired at least three Kinjals with conventional warheads during the war against Ukraine. The effect so far has been underwhelming one of those rockets misfired and landed inside Russia, injuring six civilians, including a firefighter. Some defense analysts have even called the Kinjal quasi-ballistic, suggesting that it is less maneuverable than Russia claims. Thanks for watching.